Hi everybody, Devin here at Predatory Plants. Got a species spotlight on this, the sort of famous Nepenthes hamada. One of the most sought after species in the genus for reasons that are pretty much immediately obvious to everyone who's ever seen one. Uh, this is a fantastic highland species from Sulawesi. It's found from between uh, 1400 and 2500 meters, so it goes up to well, about 8,000 feet. So it's, it's a highlander. Uh, it's not like an ultra, ultra highlander, but it does get up quite, quite high up there. Um, of course, it's famous for its crazy teeth, which it's named for. Hamadas means hooked in Latin, so Nepenthes hamadas got these crazy hooks. Uh, people also note the hairs on the lid of the mature pitchers. Immature Nepenthes seedlings have these same hairs, but most, uh, most species lose them as they get older. But Hamada maintains them, as does uh, Tentaculata, one of its close relatives. Some other things about Hamada, of course, is the dark color, and that gets communicated to its hybrids pretty readily. Um, it also has a pretty wide leaf attachment, uh, as you can see here. Uh, it tends to vine. Uh, this vine here, you can see, goes all the way around here. So there's that vine. And then actually, let me take you over here, got another specimen that uh, has a vine that's going all the way out the vent, which we hate. But hopefully it'll flower again soon. This is actually a male that we've used in some hybrids recently. Uh, here's a nice upper on the Penthes hamada. Uh, the uppers are much larger than the lowers and uh, the teeth are even more dramatic, although they lose the dark color. They get kind of green. Um, pretty difficult plant to grow. Uh, people, people can struggle with it. It definitely needs cool temperatures overnight. Uh, it certainly benefits from additional humidity. It can be a bit finicky if it gets too warm. Um, so definitely recommend it for people who have already dialed in their Nepenthes culture. Uh, it's totally worth it though, if only because, you know, you get these crazy pitchers. One thing that people don't talk about enough with Hamada, which I think is one of its best characteristics actually, is the pitcher to leaf ratio. So if you look at this basil here, there's your leaf, and there's your pitcher. That's like twice as much pitcher as there is leaf. Very few other species have a ratio that's anywhere near that. Uh, and again, like you look at this this uh, upper here, this is kind of an intermediate, still got some color. Uh, it's probably eight inches long, and the leaf here is like four and a half inches. And that maintains, it's fantastic. It doesn't have too long of a tendril either, uh, which is one of the things that uh, can, can make pitchers Pitcher plants a little bit less than attractive or harder to display. Um, so that's one of the really, really nice things about this plant. It does basil pretty well. Uh, and mostly uh, we see our big plants throw a basil once or twice a year. So you can see there's a nice big basil right here. There's a couple of small ones thinking about getting started down there. Um, it does vine though, as, you, as I showed earlier. Um, so if you want to get it to flowering size, you're gonna have to have a lot of space. Strikes pretty well from cuttings, uh, at, at least, so that's not too crazy. Um, there's some other forms of Nepenthes hamada, like uh, the, the famous hairy red form, which I think has a new name. I think that's Tamininiae or something like that. I don't know. I haven't been keeping up with that taxonomy. Uh, but the standard hamada that most people have doesn't seem to uh, display that much variation. There's some from different mountains on Sulawesi, or, or that come from different producers. You know, Andres Vistuba has some. There's a Borneo Exotics clone. But... They're essentially all the same when they're when they're at maturity, as far as we've seen. I mean, there, there's some minor variation, but it's nothing like the variation you see in like Nepenthes maxima or even Jacqueline, where you have these dramatic color differences. Um, so there's basically one hamada. Uh, the main reason to have multiples is if you're looking to breed. Obviously, everybody wants to have a paired male and female, uh, but you know you're definitely spinning the roulette wheel on that one. So it's a really great species. Uh, it's famous for a reason. Um, it's just really, really cool looking. It hybridizes super great. Uh, there's no really bad hybrids with Nepenthes hamada. Uh, we've actually got some new ones uh, in the works. I can't remember which ones we've done that haven't been done before, but, but you'll be seeing those because this here is actually a male clone. We've got several, several of this. Uh, this is uh, Borneo Exotics 3380. And, um, we called it Hero, so look out for Hero Crosses coming out in the next year or two. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's Nepenthes Hamada, the rare Highlander from Sulawesi. Uh, grow it cool, grow it a little bit humid, uh, and enjoy the crazy black teeth on that. So uh, let me know if you got any questions in the comments, I'd love to help out. And uh, like and subscribe to see more species spotlights like this one.